This is Dr. Kenneth Lewis. Uh, this video is specifically for patients that have been referred for a sacroiliac joint injection that can be performed either on the right side or the left or bilaterally. That typically is for patients who have low back pain that can radiate into their buttock uh, and pain that has not been identified as coming from the spine itself. So if you look at a spine and pelvis model, you have the lower spine, but then you have the sacrum and the iliac bone. And between the sacrum and the iliac bone is an actual joint. Here's that joint from in front. So it's called the sacroiliac joint or the SI joint. And it can frequently cause pain that is described by the patient as pain in their low back that can radiate into their buttock and occasionally even down into their thigh. It cannot be diagnosed uh, with only physical exam and there's no way to diagnose this uh, with uh, just x-rays or MRIs or CAT scans. Uh, sometimes we can see certain levels of sclerosis or arthritis within that joint, but that can be present in people who do not have pain. And people can have pain in this joint without x-ray evidence of any uh, significant arthritis. And so the, the gold standard for identifying this as your pain generator, if it is, is to place local anesthetic inside of that joint and numb that joint from the inside. If your joint is numb and your pain is gone, and it's clearly uh, relieved the pain that you had presented for, then we can uh, start treating you for the diagnosis of sacroiliitis, and there's a variety of interventions that can be planned for that. One of those interventions is simply placing steroid within the joint, which will likely occur on your first diagnostic test anyhow. So when you come in for the treatment on that day, an IV will be placed and a small amount of sedation will be uh, supplied unless you choose not to have that. Once you're taken back to the procedure room, you'll be placed uh, face down on the bed. Uh, we'll clean off your back and we'll give you a very small numbing shot with a 27 gauge needle and sometimes people really don't feel that part. Once the skin is numb, we're gonna advance another needle actually down into the joint itself. Once we're visually within the joint, we want to be able to confirm that the medication is actually treating the entirety of the joint, which is actually pretty large. It's about the size of placing half of your palm against half of another palm. We want to fill that entire joint with local anesthetics, so we want to be able to be sure that the in injection is accurate. So the first thing we're going to, in going to inject is uh, a contrast, and that is going to fill the joint, and we should be able to see that picture. It's called an arthrogram or a picture of the joint. 90% of the time we get a beautiful picture, sometimes we don't get it to fill the whole joint, in which case we'll also numb the nerves that go to the joint. But if once we've done the arthrogram, uh, the next thing we're going to do is to inject a very potent and very long-lasting numbing medication mixed with a small amount of steroid into the joint itself or to the nerve roots that go to the joint. We're going to leave the rest of your spine and other potential pain generators in your low back and buttock untreated because we're specifically wishing to identify whether or not that joint is the primary pain generator. If we are unable to get the contrast to spread into the joint, then we'll also numb the nerves that go to the joint. So one way or the other on that day, at the time I am finished with the injection for the next few hours, that joint is numb. We will then have you keep a pain log and document whether or not that has successfully treated your pain. And we want that to be true while you're active doing the types of activities that would normally precipitate that pain. If we fail to identify the source of your pain, at least we know what it's not, and the list of things that it could be is now shorter, and we move on to the next most likely suspect. Uh, if we find out that that is the main source of your pain, then we will wait to see if the steroid kicks in, and if it does, and it lasts for a good amount of time, then we can continue to treat that joint with occasional injections of steroid into the joint again. Most patients, however, will require something uh, more long-lasting. Uh, in my practice, that includes uh, using radiofrequency ablation treatment to actually turn off the nerves that go to that joint, and that will be a separate video. So if you're scheduled for a sacroiliac joint injection, that day is predominantly diagnostic with the hopes that maybe there will be some long-lasting effect from the steroid as well. All right, thank you.